Lake Mead is the nation's largest reservoir, a companion to Lake Powell. Mead was created when the Hoover Dam was completed in 1935. It supplies water and power to Arizona, California, New Mexico, and Mexico. Lake Mead's level is 1,047 feet above sea level. You would have to go back to April of 1937, also two years into its initial filling, to find levels that low. It is forecast to have a new record low next summer, said Hassenkamp. The lake isn't low enough yet to cause concerns about getting water out, but any hope of it refilling is years away, if ever, due to lowered rain and snow and increasing evaporation. Some of America's largest cities depend on the water from Lake Mead. It's 90% of the water supply to Las Vegas, 50% to Phoenix, effectively 100% to Tucson, and 25% to Los Angeles, said Udall. The Department of the Interior had asked the seven states of the Colorado River Compact to come up with a plan to cut between 2 and 4 million acre-feet of water by January. They weren't able to come up with an agreement. Because of that, it's expected that the Department of the Interior's Bureau of Reclamation, which oversees water management, will mandate one sometime next year. This is apparently a decent water year, but still, if it turns dry again, there are some pretty big reductions on tap and every state could be affected, said Hassenkamp. It will be painful, but it doesn't mean the area can't thrive. The West might look different, said Hassenkamp. You might not see the lush lawns of today and endless fields of alfalfa, but you will see thriving communities and agricultural regions.